Hi everybody, what's going on? I'm going to be looking at who could be giving you the evil eye. Why they giving you the evil eye and what's going on with them. Alright, so we're going to be checking this out, okay? Um, I'm going to use um, my twin flame card just to get the message out. Alright, because this could be anybody. Alright, hey, thank you guys. Check out the membership because uh, all my pick a cards memberships get their first look before I make them public. But also, it depends on what tier you choose, you can actually ask me a question. All right, I write down the memberships, the uh, people in the membership, and it can. And if you ask me a question, and you're on that tier, then I'll be able to answer that question. Check out my Amazon wish list to send me tarot cards if you feel generous. Check out my PayPal for the donate and cash app, and also check out my website if you like to book a reading with me. Okay, let's go. Number one, who's giving you the evil eye? Why are they giving you the evil eye? Okay, who giving you the evil eye? Okay, Earth sign. Okay, that's giving you evil eye. Could be giving you the evil eye because of money. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Why are they giving you the evil eye? Because you're the empress. You're doing good. You're abundant. You're free. All right. You're wise. Okay. What they want to happen to you, they want your heart to be broken. Okay. <laughs> What's working in your favor? The Ace of Pentacles for Group 1. Abundance and um, growth. And the outcome is the High Priestess. You know who's giving you the evil eye. This could be a Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Or, yeah, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio coming through strong with possible Earth signs here. Alright, that's who's giving you the evil eye. This could be your mother. This could be an ex that you separated from. This could even be a psychic that's giving you the evil eye in this group. Okay. Mm, let's get some message from this person. I'm just going to see. <laughs> All right. Somebody's giving you an evil eye. that they working towards a better future. they give you the evil eye because you're working better. Your future is looking brighter. Also, they um, you're doing what you have to do right now. And this person hates the fact you're doing that. And they want to be with you. Okay. Or they feel like you got them and you, you, you ended that. Okay. It's what I'm getting with you guys in group one. Who's giving you the evil eye. You, you're the only person who truly gets me. Okay, so somebody thought you maybe was a friend of theirs. All right, some of you guys decided to cut them off and start to work towards your emperor status to pour back into yourself to create new opportunities and new beginnings. This is a strong Libra, Taurus, and a Scorpio that is giving you the evil eye, strong placements of this, okay? So somebody wanted an opportunity to be with you. You did not take that opportunity or you decided to work on yourself with the high priestess here. You know this. All right, so country, somebody wanted to trap you, okay? We have here mirror, somebody, uh, this could be a twin flame, a divine masculine, very stubborn type of energy. Somebody wants your heart broken and they are um, persistent on it. All right, you are letting go of third party situation and bring a fresh energy into your life. This person is pissed off and looking at you evilly because, and it could be doing mirror work on you too with the empress being here. God, they may have a picture of you blowing smoke in there, sending you evil lives too, okay? Whoever giving you the evil eye here. Let's see what else we can get. Karma. So this person is mad because you're getting good karma. You got true love and money coming in. Wow, really good energy for you guys. All right, so that's what giving me an evil eye. Somebody um, upset. I got the sign. Let's see what else we can get for this person. That's giving you an evil eye. Yeah, this is somebody that... Um, was a coward, period. Escape and false sense of heroism. We have here the hermit, somebody that withdraw from this, somebody that ghosted you, withdraw from society, fear of judgment. They withdraw from you, okay. And we have prince, okay, using power for self, uh, arrogance, um, something I can't remember that word, okay. And we have gambler, this is somebody that try to gamble and play with your life, too. Um, they mad at you because you guys withdraw from them. You do know how to act heroic, you do, you are very charming naturally, and you have the you follow your intuition with the high priestess there, even when everybody doubts you and think you crazy. You're like, nah, I know somebody watching me, I know somebody after me, I know somebody doing this. You take that, you run with it, and this person knows that, and so they, um, they may even send people to you to gamble with your life and play you out, try to romance you, okay, but you're aware of that you remove yourself from that but this is a person who's like evil you this is a hermit so virgo again coming up strongly and we have leo here and then we have like you know libras are very charming so this person naturally is probably charming and they and they mad because you may outshine them okay <laughs> rego what else do we need to know let's see the signs actually 
who's giving you guys the evil eye and I'm done with it. <laughs> but that's it. Somebody wants to break your heart, but you got new opportunities coming. Oh, Aquarius giving you the evil eye. Uh, Pisces, uh, Aries. Okay. And let's get one more. Mars, a Scorpio here. All right. Or you will not know that this person wanted to be your lover, your spouse, okay? And they're mad because you don't want to. This person is secretly giving you the evil eye and envious because you're very passionate and strong and you move the masses, okay? People are naturally drawn to you, group one. I'm done with that's who giving you the evil eye. Any protection, any protection, spirit. What is the protection they need to know? Oh, you got a big opportunity. The Ace of One, uh, the Ace of Pentacles. They can't stop it. Okay, this is going to be a breakthrough. All right, we have devotion. All right, and we have here flow. All right, so devotion. Spirit is devoted to making sure things flow naturally in your life. You don't have to worry about that. With the advice cards I'm seeing here, trust your intuition. Don't it. It won't lead you wrong. Bag away from the contract. Bag away from this person. They mean you no good. All right. Just put spiritual protection up to. All right. They mean prayer. It mean counter work. Okay. It mean thinking positive. You have a really big opportunity. Group one coming towards you. All right. Spirit's going to make sure that. That's who's jealous of you. Somebody that can put you in a contract, a soul contract. It could be a contract coming towards you as well. Is what I'm saying. Alright, let me know if that's happening with them signs are jealous or you have any intuition of who's jealous of you. It's funny because group one even look like a mother could have been jealous of you or a spouse, okay, of the mother. Especially with the emperor showing up here, you guys are mothers or y'all very beautiful and very abundant. Alright. Group two, let's see what's going on. All right, so the, who's jealous of you? A cancer. Someone that wants to, was wanting to commit to you, you may not commit it to them. Why? Because you defended yourself, you stood up, okay? You keep battling, you're not giving up. Uh-huh, the action, they want you to lose strength. They want you to stop resisting, period. All right, and we see here the sun. This is a Leo that could be jealous of you, a Sagittarius or a cancer. The action they're taking towards you, they want to align you, okay? So this person ain't wanting to keep you in the dark. They didn't want you to find the light. That's what's giving you the evil eye. They wanted to keep you, it concealed your beauty, your strength, your courage, your love and heart. You have the princess sword at the bottom, somebody, uh, princess Press of Cups at the bottom, Scorpio Energy. That could be the mastermind behind all of this. But the person who's jealous of you guys or doesn't have good intentions for you is somebody that um, you keep climbing out of the dark, okay? They can't conceal anything. You know, the light and the dark, the sun and the moon, okay? The yin and the yang. Yes, you are in line, okay? Things are illuminated for you. And although they may have physically tried you and you may be physically challenged right now, group two with the nine and one, the strength, you shall overcome this. And this person don't like that, okay? I don't know. You guys are very in control, okay? The sun is coming out. This person don't want that to happen to you, though. We have here, yeah, because you closed the chapter with them completion. We have here chain. They mad because you they couldn't chain you. We have gifts. The gift is strength, okay? You are mighty. If you're a Leo here, because Leo coming up strongly here. Fire sign, period. Could we have here signs? Okay, so it's always a sign. It could be your kids that find you, and you always build out your, build yourself or bring yourself out of the darkness, is what I'm saying. And because you do that, this person that is giving you the evil eye is mad because they can't break your spirits, is what I'm hearing. They can't break the grind, they can't break the love, they can't break the um, sun, they can't block it, they can't hide it, they can't dim it. Okay, we have here spiritual love. Okay, so you guys are back in contact with spirit. Y'all understand who y'all are. This could have been somebody you had a deep spiritual love with and you may have even been in a relationship with. That's giving you the evil eye. You was loyal to this motherfucker. All right, new beginnings are happening. We have vows and commitments. Okay, they feel like you broke your vow. They try to keep you confused. Not going to happen, group two. All right, dedication and loyalty to yourself is what's going to get you through this. Not giving up, okay? Not being weighed down. Somebody want to throw a fucking brick or anchor around your leg and drop you at the bottom of the sea, and they was hoping you would never get back up for air. And I, it really wasn't me. 
<laughs> it really wasn't you, it was me, but this person mad because you took what you took your lesson, you kept going, you never from my mind. This person is obsessed thinking about you, even though I don't show it. I'm sorry for how things turned out between us. Yeah. Somebody pissed off and giving you the evil eye because you didn't give them that chance. Mm-hmm. Somebody wanted you with them. But they had all the wrong intentions. Some of you guys could have divorced this person. They thought you was going to drown without them. Alright, past love, past life connection. This could have been somebody you were married to in the past life to. Maybe not now. But somebody's actually giving you that evil eye. <laughs> mm hmm Came back, okay? Trying to break your heart. Alright, this person... That's giving you the evil eyes, a prostitute, child magician, and dumb one. So it's a player. All right. <laughs> and uh, we have here using a powerful romantic traction for private agenda. They mad because you caught on to their tricks. And then we have here, they started getting your evil eye. You called them out. They probably told them they was a whole prostitute too, but this car is showing up. And that's why they mad because they asked God to sell their body to get money. Place material consideration and security above um, self-empowerment. You don't, okay? You know who you are, okay? You have very positive, seductive, quality ways. You could be a Scorpio. Okay, uh, and this person don't like that. And then we have pessimist, de depression, disbelief in miracles, believe in energy and action not required. But you believe in magic. You probably are a magician. This person is pissed off. All right, you have a lot of love here, a lot. Now I gave you the signs. Spirits want you to reconsider talking to this person if you think they're your soulmate. Period. Okay. Because we have a spiritual connection there. The reason they mad at you because. You don't feel the same way, and they feel like you should be with them. Cancer there. We have a sun. We have Mar or, um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. We have Virgo and Gemini. And we have Pisces here. A lot of confusion. No, Actually, no zodiac signs. Just a lot of elements. So this person ungrounded. They don't see the light. They communicate a lot of confusion in your life. I feel like you were loyal to this person. Let's see what this spirit wants you to know. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Okay? And we have here success. If you do, you'll be okay. Okay? And a big opportunity. I feel like spirit wants you to forgive yourself. Forgive this person. Reconsider giving this person another chance because they sell their body. And they have no self-respect. Group two, okay, you do. We have black cat, good luck spirit. Once you know you can't go wrong, and you have mastered this test, okay. So don't let this person um bring you down. That's what I'm hearing. That's giving you the evil eye. You already know you could be on a solo journey, and you know success is coming towards you. This person could be coming around, trying to speak love, trying to pull all the sun off, but they're really not good for you. Co-create with the universe, spirit say. And trust your intuition, 33, master, okay, ascending master around. And we have nurture. You're going to be provided for. Don't worry about that. Your harvest is coming, okay? And this is what you need to continue to believe in. The universe is going to take care of you. But what's one thing they need you to do is reconsider giving this person a chance to give yourself so you can move forward successfully, group two. This person ain't got no self-respect, and they won't have none for you is what I'm hearing. You may love them. You may thought you had a spiritual connection, but I'm hearing no. All right, Leo, Pisces, uh, Virgo, and Gemini strongly, okay? I feel like you were even married to this person, but I feel like you guys are going to get something new. Go for the new. Something's going to be gifted to you. If you are a Leo, good job. Cancer, good job. Sagittarius, good job. But I feel like these are the signs that's jealous of you. All right, group three. Who could be jealous of you and why? Okay, not jealous. What am I talking about? Who's giving you the evil eye and why? <laughs> group three, you may have a lot of jealous people. Let's see. All right, got the nine of swords. Somebody wants you heartbroken, worried, and sleepless at night, period, Gemini. Why? Because they want to control your mind. They want to control everything you're doing. They're doing magic on you in this group. 
All right. What's going on? They want you trapped. Okay, period. Whoever this is is sick and sadistic. Why? Because you're the empress. Okay, period. They don't want you to have that status. The outcome being a three of swords. This person is heartbroken. It's not going to work. Okay, because this person don't want you are the empress. You are doing well. You are divine. This person this Libra Gemini. This is from Gemini Libra Aquarius that's manipulating you in this group. You may be a Taurus. It's funny. Okay, but um. It don't really matter. It could be your own mother. You could be a mother. Somebody don't want you to have a mother. Somebody don't want you to have kids. Somebody wants you to keep miscarrying. We got the nine of swords, eight of swords, and three of swords. Somebody wants you a mental wreck, okay? And this person that's giving you the evil eye is actually looking at you. And they want you to forever feel this way, okay? Infinitely feel this way. It could be Aries here, too, that's doing this to you in this group. All right, we have here why? Cause they get karma. They want you to get some type of karma. They may you may have gay this person. They karma. They may have been locked up. Okay, and you completed something with them. Okay, we have single. They don't want you to be single. They have regrets. They want you to regret every decision you made, but you're not. You're strong. You're building. And this person lurks in the shadow. That's giving you the evil eye. Close that door. Okay. <laughs> Mm -mm. This person right here just wants you in your head fucked up, messed up, out of mind, out of sight, travel. We have spiritual growth and we have wildflower. This person is had none. This person could be a spiritual teacher. They could travel for a um, life and they could be doing this to you because they fucking bored with their life and they need to get a life. All right. Mm. Mm. Strong air signs here. So either you or air sign somebody else is. I want you. To, I want you to be happy. I look at your picture often. I see a little part of you. Everything. So this person again. This person is mad and giving you even eye because you are happy. They lie if they said they want you happy and you're not happy with them. They are watching you and they looking at your picture, doing picture work or doing jar work on you. All right, trying to keep you trapped, especially with the eight of swords. Somebody wants you locked up in bars because they got locked up. This why this person is hateful, and um. And I feel like whatever they done to you in this pile, people are doing to them. Because I see a little bit of part of you and everybody I meet. That means whoever giving you the evil eye and whoever did evil things to you is getting it put back to them. Air sign again. Believe it, Gemini Aquarius. Either you are or this who's doing it. We have Virgo. We have here Sagittarius. And then we have here Moon. You don't even know this person doing Moon work on you. All right. This bullshit. All right. Could be a Cancer or Pisces. Okay. This person could be revealed. You may notice. But Virgo's showing up strongly here. So either you're a Virgo and these people doing magic on you, a Pisces, a Sag, and a Libra, Gemini, or Praise, or you, the you know, Virgo doing this to you. Friendship. This is somebody your friend. This is somebody is mad because they may have had sex or did something with your friend that's giving you the evil eye that wants your man or your woman. Okay? They mad because you're having a good time. Group three. Bullshit. Okay? Anyways, you're abundant, you grow, very meticulous, okay, very lighthearted, easy going, and you pay attention to the cycles, and this person don't like that, so they want to wish you bad. All right, we have here confessions, okay, we have loyalty, confessions, established, you could have even had an established relationship with this person who's giving you the evil eye, okay, this could be family strongly coming up for you guys that's giving y'all an evil eye, expect unexpected confessions with this person, this person could have told you all their secrets, all right, they may have, you may have trusted this person, how do you protect yourself, this could have been a friend of yours too, best friend with the dog and loyalty, all right. At least you thought they were. This one's fucking crazy here, though. This kind of a little dark. We ain't got the devil, so it ain't too dark. But it's like, okay, protect your power back. Don't dim your light to this person. Uh, you already know who it is, wisdom. And then we have dreams, okay? This person could be interrupting your dream, all right? This person could be coming to you in your sleep. Spirit so said, chase your dreams. Go after your dreams, okay? You are the oracle. Trust in what you know. You know nobody have to tell you what to do. All right. You are the magician. You are creating this person pissed off because you are the magician. And they mad. You're single. Communicate with spirit. Master communication. Forgiveness. A lot of these groups in the evil eye, you got to forgive yourself from dealing with somebody crazy. All right. And be in communion with the spirit because they want you to know things are going to work out. All right. No matter what change is happening, you guys are going to do good. Something about the eyes is here is very important. All right. Eyes are the window to your soul. We have look for uh, actual angels. 
romance. They say new romance is coming or a big opportunity coming towards you too. It's karmically meant to be t returned to you. Could be mean somebody that wants a relationship, an established relationship, a home, and a family that you deserve. Okay? This could be getting communicated with you. Somebody new. Not somebody old. Okay? <laughs> but let's see. That was it. Okay? For group number. I was like, what? What group was this? Yeah, but this person, you don't know. They lurk in the shadows, okay? They travel a lot. They may walk, um, travel past your house and give you evil looks, okay? Maybe you guys travel for a living, y'all. Very successful, all right? But they be building traps for you in the background to keep you in this type. And it could be at least five people doing this to you. I feel like you got friends, best friends, ex-lovers, okay? Co-workers in this group that is mad at you. All right, definitely somebody that committed an affair. It could be even the person, other spouse, or my wife, or husband that's mad at you, okay, because they slept with you or something. You may not even know, um, be knows to you in this group. All right, I think that's it. I was like, do I need, do I need to do another one? <laughs> yeah. Who's giving you the evil eye? Ooh. Group four. I'm hearing it is a relative that don't like you in group four, okay? That's giving you the evil eye. Could be a cousin. You're going to learn the truth. This person didn't want you to find out the truth, but you did about them. I'm hearing that it could be a Leo here. Yeah, they didn't want you to realize how beautiful you were. They envy your looks, okay? Could be a Virgo here. All right, why? Because you're very abundant, you're very successful, and people support you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, family well. This person don't like the way that you communicate because you have passion and fire behind your voice. They want everything to end in your life, but it's going to end for them, okay, because you're coming out with victory. So this person that's giving you the evil eye and four is a relative with the Ten of Pentacles, of course. This could be somebody like a elderly than you, an aunt or uncle, somebody I'm hearing, but you guys are very beautiful. It could be a Leo, or it could be a Gemini, and you guys, again, the truth, how many times this person been trying to stab you in the back and end your life, your career, your abundance, okay? Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords, somebody don't want you to say shit. <laughs> we have here fresh energy, but you dust your hand on the situation once you learn the truth, you freed yourself from this uh, self-imposing party. This could be a third-party situation. It's three people that is giving you the evil eye. Family, okay, working together. You still got clarity again. You know they was trying to cause confusion, but they lurk in the shadow. You're not confused at all. In this group, it's definitely family here. Okay? It could be an ex that betrayed you. It's a group of people here. We got two tens here. Alright? This could be a corporation. We have here, you are irreplaceable. Damn. Because they, you know what? I feel like some of you guys left a job or a business or y'all were doing something. And they thought that, you know, you were expendable and you wasn't. They can't find nobody else. Sorry I held myself back from you. And they, they held back your money, your pay. And they, you know, they try to sidetrack you like you wasn't. With the Queen of Wands, she's simply irresistible. Charismatic, charming. You guys are good looking. Y'all charming. Y'all know what to do. Y'all know what the people want. And somebody didn't want you to know that. See that? Do that. All right. So, anyway, let's see. And they try to sidetrack you, confuse you. They stabbed you in the back, but you kept winning. You kept getting clarity, truth. And I feel like when you get clarity and truth, you cut these people off. You dust your hands. <laughs> I'm done. We have Neptune, Pisces energy. We have here Taurus energy. You could be a Taurus, Pisces. You have Libra. And then we have here Sagittarius and so a bunch of people, like I said. This could be in uh, a partnership, also a business partnership. And this could be a religious person that is doing this to you. They have different beliefs than you. And they try to confuse you with what they believe versus what you believe. Okay? You could be a Leo. You could be a Sagittarius, Libra, or Taurus. Okay? Any of these signs or these signs could be doing that to you. But what they represent is partnership, all right, contracts, spiritual evolution, somebody mad because you either get them. 
people support you. They always behind you. This person giving you the evil eye because they don't want you to get that family legacy. Somebody may put you in the will, okay? And when they pass along away, you're going to be the one that get it out of the brothers and the sisters. Have faith in your dreams. They might be mad because you're reaching your dreams. They envious, all right? Because um, they rather you give all the money to them. They rather they have all the money, okay? Virgo, Scorpio energy showing up here. What else do this group need to know about these people that's giving y'all the evil eye, okay? Damn. All right, so Virgo, Scorpio showing up strong. You guys could be a Leo, Virgo to Gemini here. All right. I got the signs that came out besides that. Watch it over. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, uh, Towers. Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, all working in cahoots. These are either, this is you. You have these placements strongly. Independent, affluence, uh, good life, okay, creative. And we have the tower with the lovers, okay? Somebody could have chosen another person, okay? Also, somebody wants you to have towers in your life, but you're affluent and people love you. You're doing very good in this group, okay? Somebody don't want you to be doing good. Virgo, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, strongly here. Three people, third party, that is causing chaos and don't want you to have something. Spirit, let's see what this group should do, and I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for tuning in. They ass is going to have a tower moment. They love we're going to get that lead they ass and they ass is going to be single here. You're going to dust your hands of this third party situation. Ooh, abundant. Yes, Spirit said don't even worry about the money. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, group four. We have him message. Everything you've been praying for, ask for, is going to come in. You know the secrets. You have the knowledge. Okay, keep it to yourself. Somebody mad because you're going to give them your secrets too. And they're giving you the evil eye because they're trying to infiltrate your business, your home, your ideals, your mind. And you're not having it. <laughs> All right, we have here reconsider. Yeah, so some of you guys are reconsidering any partnerships, okay, with people you prefer to be single. We have here be assertive, yeah, blocking shit off. We have don't stop, somebody trying to stop your progress, okay? And we have within the next uh, few months, things are going to get better. We have here, listen to your intuition, you are, all right? So definitely, Spirit wants you to know, trust yourself in this, okay? Things are getting better. Abundance is coming. But I feel like people that's giving you the evil eye don't want that because you stop talking to them. And you, yeah, here we go. Spirit wants you to know that you need to laugh at these fools because they're a joke. Okay? And we have here, you know the truth. You are the truth. You speak it from your heart. And we have miracles. Don't worry. They, when you need a miracle, when you need things to work on in your favor, all right, money and family abundance is here. Okay? Somebody's stopping that. They don't know how it happens because you're honest with yourself. And when you're honest with yourself, you can't fool spirit anyway. So spirit blesses you, okay? Because you know how to roll with the punches and somebody else doesn't. And they don't want you to get this. It's what I'm hearing. All right, guys. That's who's giving you the evil eye. Be mindful of that. I just feel like you guys are very successful. Um, your manifestation powers are very high. Keep praying, keep asking, keep manifesting, keep thinking positive. Somebody definitely want a tower to happen. They don't even want you to be in a relationship, okay? But you guys are going to have everything y'all want. All right, bye. This person is spiteful and evil. They hold grudges, okay? Strong family member, probably even an ex. Or uh, I also feel like this is somebody they were dealing with that also don't want you to have it. Bye-bye, guys.